Okay, so you guys said that you wanted to see some videos of us just going throughout our day. So we're going to do that today. First, we're going to go see the movie Uncharted. So come on, join us. You are not excited at all about this, are you? All right, just got out of the movie. I will share my thoughts with you. I thought it was a good movie, but as far as Uncharted goes, nope, nope, not at all. But uh, now we're gonna go over to the Disney character warehouse and see what they got over there. All right, Ange, what did you think of the movie? I thought it was a good movie, but I'm not familiar with the game. Okay, babe. What'd you think? Okay, so it was a good movie, I thought, overall. No spoilers. No spoilers. But if you are a fan of Uncharted, like a loyal fan, and you think that the uh, stories are really good in Uncharted, you're going to question why they just, just didn't take... Uh, stories from well they did it took part of part four and uh in my opinion they butchered it but uh yeah i i, I love tom holland but nah not for me i just um i feel like if they would have followed part four to the t it would have been really good Literally, Google Maps is pretty dumb sometimes when it comes to Orlando because of construction and stuff. Um, it took us down this road to get to the Vineland Outlets, but I could have easily gone that way. It's crazy to me that that would, you know, even take us this way. And I hate this way, going towards Dr. Phillips. I absolutely hate it because this red light, nobody knows what they're doing. All right, we made it to the Vineland Premium Outlets. We're going to go into the Disney Character Warehouse and see what they've got. All right, we have made it in. You can see the first thing we see is a lot of Christmas merch here. They have a lot left over. So the thing about this Character Warehouse is things that have been left over, things that are older, they come here and they have them on discount. So I was looking for this throughout the parks earlier this year, and I never did get one. They have it here, $14.99, Mummy Mickey popcorn bucket. It's pretty cool. And this is the Christmas popcorn bucket that they had. Look at this for $49.99, a Wishables advent calendar for Christmas. That's pretty cool. And they have some of the Halloween merch here too. Now they have these Mickey Mouse pumpkin mugs. I wanted this before, I never did get it. But they're $7.99, originally $24. 99 not bad I like these wicked spooky hats too little pens for crocs this is mickey runaway railway whistle it's pretty cool 7.99 they do have some disneyland stuff in here too this matterhorn bobsled it's pretty cool with the yeti on there take a look at this star wars santa hat that's pretty cool how much is that inch 14.99 that's cool. The Millennium Falcon bag, too. Originally $75, now $44.99. I don't know if I'd pay $75 for that, though. This little mini hoodie. Haunt you later? How much is that? Well, it, it doesn't have a sticker, but it's $69.99 originally. Oh, wait. Uh, $35.99. $35? Okay. Which isn't not too bad. For a no, not too bad. I have this little food tray that was from the Food and Wine Festival. It's pretty cool. Hmm. It was $4.99. This shirt's pretty cool. Meet me at the Purple Wall. If you guys know what that is, 
Drop down in the comments, let us know. Look at this little figurine set here. Tis the season to be jolly. It's pretty neat. And right next to that is this little light up figurine too. It's pretty cool. Some Christmas mini ears. Doesn't see a price on it, but I'm sure it's cheaper than the regular $27.99. Oh, okay. Thank you. $7.99. Take a look at this Captain America purse. It's pretty cool. Originally $74 on sale for $44.99. Also, they have these Mickey pumpkins that were like originally $29.99. They're $9.99 now. A little pillow, but it's cool. Take a look at this, man. It's pretty cool. Rock and roller coaster guitar bag. $19.99. Originally $30. Look at this chewy iPhone case. That's cool, and it's actually furry. That's pretty neat. Talking Bruce plush, $12.99, originally $26.99. It's pretty cool though. And they do have these holiday light up necklaces here, $4.99. I think originally they were, what, $15 if I remember right, during the Christmas season, but it's pretty cool. Here's one down here that's a little better on display. Mm -hmm. What does it say originally? It does it say? No. Oh, okay. I think they were like $15. So it's about a $10 discount. And like I said, they do have some Christmas stuff in here. Here's this sweater here. Cozy. This one has a hood. This one says Joy on front. So I don't know how long all this stuff is going to be here, but you may want to come here soon if you're going on your vacation just to see what they have. All right, they have some stuff from the NBA experience, which obviously is no more, so... Last little bit. I do have some cruise line ornaments. This is the Mediterranean 2020 whenever they went there. On our way out, I noticed this advent calendar, Mickey Puzzle. It's pretty cool. And a Minnie and Mickey Nutcracker. We should get those. Okay, so we're done at the outlet. Now we're going to go to Ikea because I'm needing a new desk. So we're going to see if we can find one. We don't know if we will or not, but We'll try it. Okay, so we picked up the little popcorn bucket. I debated not getting it, but I was like, you know what, what the hey. So Angie's gonna open it, and she's gonna see if there's some moldy popcorn in it. <laughs> there may or may not be, we don't know yet. There she goes. Oh, little Mickey. He's cute. He's cute. It doesn't feel like there is. Feels empty. Yeah. Gotta check his caboose. Yeah, I don't know how you. Oh, way up here. Oh, his head actually. And buzz. No popcorn. <laughs> it would be pretty gross if there was. Yes. We thought maybe there was a possibility just because it was sealed, but. Look at his tail. Look at his little tail. Cute little Mickey. So flash forward to the next day. Um, we did not go to Ikea. We're going today. We had some stuff we had to take care of with our dogs. But before we go there, we're going to head up a couple of places. Maybe, maybe more. I don't know yet. But we're going to head into this place here because we wanted to show you guys just a little bit of downtown. or well, not really downtown 192, but on 192 here in Kissimmee. And if you've been here before, you probably recognize what I'm looking at. It's the Wizard Gift Shop. Check it out. I have never actually been inside here. Look, he has a little staff. And he has some stars hanging off there. It's pretty cool. And look who it is right over there. Look who's waiting for us. It's Angie. First thing we notice are these mugs. Check this out. Dumbo mug. It's pretty cool. I do have a vast array of mugs in here though. It's pretty cool. Number one mom, number one grandma, and then some little Mickey. Looks like, what is that babe? It's not a shot glass. It has it a is, spoon on it. It's a um, espresso shot. I oh think. okay, yeah. That's pretty cool. And this one too. It's neat. 
like I said, oh, here's some shot glasses. Okay, here's the shot glasses. That's pretty cool. I like that. And you have some Ursula mugs down here. Some mini mugs. Some pink mini ones. Like I said, they have a bunch in here. Even Spider-Man. Oh, Star Wars, where? Oh, yeah. Right down there. Look at all of these shirts. We're going to look at some, but they have really, really good prices in here. So let's go around and let's take a look and see what exactly they have. I'm grumpy. What's your excuse? Huh, I might need to get that one. I like this shirt right here. Mickey Mouse Original. That's pretty cool. And then this one next to it. Mickey's hanging up in the upside down. These are awesome. Disney 2022 shirt with Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Prices aren't bad. You're looking at around $14.99 uh, for the shirts. And there's some that are different in here, but you can go around and just see what all they got. This one's cool too. 2022 with Mickey on it. I like that. One thing I am going to point out, everything's super close together. Very tight aisles. <laughs> That's okay though. Ooh, I see some huskies down there. They do have mini ears too. Um, $9.99 Angie said on those. You should try them on. Yeah, but see if they look good. Because of this it won't stay on. Oh. Yeah, see she looks cute. Tell her she needs some mini ears guys. Here's some more mini ears here too. That's cool. Little tie-dye one. That's neat. Oh wow, now we're coming up to the plush toys. These are really cool. There's a Dumbo and some Among Us plushes. Those are cool, $21.99 for those. And then Narwhal. Some Minnie and Mickey couple, that's cute. And this one, Siberian Husky. We've been trying to win these at like prize games. I had one at like um, SeaWorld. Unfortunately, I fell short and only, <laughs> only got the little uh, purple Yeti, but actually I think we never released that footage. If I can find it, I'll put it right here. So you can play these games here. A winner every time, three discs for $10. And here's some of the prizes that you can actually win. Oh, you have a Hermes that you can win? That's awesome. Okay, so if I pick three, it equals to a certain amount, you get a certain prize. So let's pick three. Let's go with this guy. And then this guy. And then how about this lady right here? All right, let's see. All right, let's see. You got two points here. Two. One, one point here. And All one right. point Ooh, here. So you get a medium four. one. A medium one. All right. Hi. Purple Bumble. All right. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. Merry you too. Christmas. Purple Bumble. Yahoo! They have these that are a little different. It's Ariel and Elsa. And these big minis down here, $34.99. Not bad because they're originally $62. So not bad. Oh, all these Star Wars plushes here too. Salacious Crumb. Let's try him out. <laughs> he sounds like he is in dire need of some help. And this Vader one. Oh, that's cool. This one talks too. And I just knocked that one off. Now that Angie and I have picked up my mess, here's an R2 one. Let's see if this one works. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then of course, there we go, tumbling again. Thank you, babe. <laughs> and then here's a Death Star one too. Let's see if I can get this to work. Mm -mm. That one didn't work. A lot She's of gonna. Them don't. A lot of them don't. She said. No, hit the where it says to talk. 
So maybe they really don't? Drop down in the comments. Let me know which one's your favorite one, though. They do have some Grogu plushes here, too. Everybody loves Grogu. Or the child. Sorry if I spoiled anything for anyone. It's awesome. Let's see what this small one is. How much it is. He's on sale. $21.99. Then right next to him is Stitch. I love Stitch. He's like my favorite now. So cool. There's all these different array of backpacks over here. There's Super Mario down there. There's Sonic. Ariel. That's cool, man. And then they have like reusable bags too. Looks like right here in this area. And I have to mention Spider-Man whenever I see him. There he is. And if you guys are needing some pool stuff, they have goggles and they have little scuba gear kits for kids and some floats. Um, they don't have a lot, but they do have some of that stuff here. And they have little toys over there too. They have all kinds of swimwear over here too. You can get wraps and cover-ups. I don't know why, but I love stuff that's shiny and colorful like this. This is awesome to me. And it says, freeze me. Right underneath that, they have these cups too, like these Tervis cups, basically. That's so cool. I love the shiny stuff like that. So I may have to get one. I doubt I will, but I always debate whether I'm gonna get something or not. And they do have all these Orlando shirts here too. Pretty cool, garment dye t-shirts. They have all kinds of sizes and different designs. And if you're needing some beach towels, they have plenty here. Cool character designs, even Grogu there on the bottom. Well, at the end, I should say. Pretty neat. Okay, Angie, I need this. It's for a time. But I can wear it. No, you cannot. Hooded poncho? Only $14.99. Will you buy it for me for Christmas? All right, settle the debate. Will it fit on my head? What do you think? It's all pre-packaged, so I can't take it out, but it's not for a child. I'm just kidding, I know it is. They also have you covered on luggage. So if you get here and you uh, forget your bag or need a new one for all the stuff you're taking home from Disney World or Universal, there you go. They do offer some Harry Potter stuff here, so a little bit of Universal here in this store. Gryffindor. These kind of shirts. There's not a whole lot. It's a Slytherin shirt there too, but there's not a whole lot. I mean, there's like thing one, thing two, trunk one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but not a lot. Look at all these magnets they have. It's cool. Woody, C-3PO, Han, Luke, and an infinity gauntlet, that is awesome. Look at this little Yoda bank. That's pretty cool. $19.99. They do have some Potter mugs here. That one's cute, I like that one. They do also have live gators in here. Just kidding. <laughs> He's huge though. And it looks like they have dead sharks in a glass bottle, maybe. It's kind of weird. Helicopter, there it goes. It's always happening. Always happening in this area. All right, so now we're gonna go over to Orange World, which is right back here somewhere, not too far. So we're gonna head over there and see what they got, maybe get an orange. That might be our food review for the day. Okay, I've made it over to Orange World and uh, I've switched over to the ZV-1 for this one uh, because that camera is way too big to take into some places. But, um, so there shouldn't be a, too much of a difference in quality. You guys know how big of a camera person I am. There may be an audio difference, so I apologize if it's a little annoying. So welcome to Florida, bring some home. It's a pretty awesome structure, pretty big structure. It has been here for years. I remember coming to Kissimmee and Orlando and seeing this all the time. Uh, went in here years ago when I was a kid, but it's been a while since I've been in. 
you actually see here you can actually buy citrus trees. That's pretty cool. $19.99 or two for $35. It's pretty awesome. It looks like they have some grapefruits here. Four for $9.99 or $3 each. It's not bad. Just a little bit of good stuff. These tangerines here, you can get a snack bag for $5.99 or you can do a fourth uh, pound bushel or a half bushel, $14.99. These look delicious. I have stepped into the gift shop. You see it's a lot of the same kind of stuff that we saw earlier. There's a couple different things I want to show you though. Look at this, the world's largest orange, orange world. That's awesome. I love that shirt. They have these stickers, orange world stickers. And lanyards, even key rings, and more Grogu action. <laughs> That's cool. Red and navel oranges for one fifty. It's awesome. We're not really big orange people, but sometimes we get some uh, halos, you know, stuff like that. But it's awesome. Really good prices. So I decided to pass on the oranges just for today. Um, nothing really stood out to me that um, that I really wanted to try. Um, the actual, like, uh, I forget the name of them that I wanted to try, They're, they don't have right now. So that's okay, no problem. Now, let's get in the car, let's go check out some more places real quick and uh, see what we can find. We're on a mission today to try to find me a new desk because my desk is too small. So this is what the second half of the video is about. But we just, for some reason, drove all the way to Kissimmee. I'm kidding. We drove here to show you guys this. What do you think, Ange? You want to do the anti-gravity thing one day? Maybe. Maybe that's another episode we'll do for you guys. If you're going to be living in Orlando or coming to Orlando, you can suspect for I-4 to be backed up going towards Disney and from Disney. It's always crazy. But it's not that bad. I would rather do Orlando traffic any day versus Atlanta or even Chattanooga traffic. Now, all my friends back home are gonna say I'm crazy, but I would much rather deal with Orlando traffic. All right, we've made it to Ikea. Let's go in and see if we can find a desk. If you've never been in Ikea, as soon as you walk in, it's a pretty big area. You gotta walk up here to go to the showroom. Not walk, but go up. Hey, we've been needing some storage boxes. Four bucks. Everything here is like a really good price. Oh, I think we need some dinosaurs and footballs at the house. Don't you agree? No? Come on. This may be the softest bath mat I've ever felt in my life. It's awesome. I like this table. Maybe eventually when we buy a house, we'll get one, but we're still in a small apartment right now, but I really like that. I like how it's kind of split in the middle there. And then I like these chairs too. Pretty cool. Look at this chandelier. Not too bad, 549. Look at these little coffee tables. They're kind of end tables, side tables is what it's called. 1299, that's not bad. I, I think like, I don't know. I, I just like the look of them. Pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. This place is huge. It actually has arrows pointing you to where you're supposed to go to get you through the showcase. It's pretty cool though. All right, we made it to the desk section. Let's take a look and see what we can find. I do like this one. This one's kind of short. We have a really small apartment, like I said. We're trying to find something that I can prioritize all my cords and put stuff with storage. That's a contender, $89.99. Don't know yet though. This is really cool. I need something like this for sure. Especially when I get an office again, but it'd be cool. I also want one of these, one of these desks that actually you can stand or sit. Those are super nice. Eventually, maybe 
I'll get back into streaming, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But it would be nice to have this kind of stuff. All right, so take a look at this. You can actually build your own table. The smallest one here is $19.99, and the prices go up the longer that it is. I don't know if that's ideal for us. Might be, I don't so know. you can get legs. Yeah, you can get legs here at 15, 25, 15, and then five for the white. That's cool. Here's another option. This one's pretty cool. It has a couple of drawers that come out, but this is neat back here. How it lifts up, and it has two holes in here for your cords. And then there's a gap right back here that you can actually slide everything through. So it's pretty cool. I feel like I'm doing a home improvement show right now. She found what she was looking for, what she came for. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this Swedish chocolate bar. That will be our food review for the video. Check the haul we got. For $10.50, we got all this stuff. Let's go inside and check out the chocolate. Okay, so we're going to try this chocolate. Like I said, I got it in there. Uh, we're going to try it now because it's going to melt. It's really hot out. It's and, uh, and it's Swedish chocolate. And it's Swedish chocolate. I think I mentioned that earlier. We have one more stop today, and then we're going to head home. The last stop is going to be Walmart. And I'm going to show you guys today what kind of steak we buy, because it's steak night for us. So we're going to show you what steak, what kind of steak we buy. Um, you know, people say don't buy your steak from Walmart, whatever, it's cheap. You know? Here's the chocolate. Let's try it. Pretty good, no complaints. Tastes like um, the Easter Bunny chocolate to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how truly Swedish this is, but it's pretty good. So now let's go to Wally World. You know what, I decided I'm gonna pick up some flowers for my sweetheart. All right, so hopefully it's not picked over. Beef section, obviously. And we have ribeyes. Angie and I always get ribeyes. Um, I'll try to look at the size of them. I don't like the thin ones. So those are pretty decent size. I think we're gonna go with this one. All right, here we go. Let's head home. And guess who made a guest appearance on the episode today? Taking her out to potty for the day. Come here, Ray. Don't mind that other dog now. We have other dogs in our apartment complex that she sees sometimes and gets really curious about them. Still got to take the other two out, but come here, Ray. Look, baby. Oh, you want to say bye to everybody? Uh-oh, she got wrapped there. There we go. All right. Looks like she's about done, so I'm going to head inside. Oh, Lord, she's in the bush now. Oh my gosh, come on, Ray. What are you doing? She's investigating. You ready to go in? So we come to the end of our day. We want to thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We won't do this all the time, but it was kind of fun just to take you guys throughout our last two days and just see what we do on the weekend sometimes. A lot of times we don't get to cover all the shops we want to, but I had fun making this video for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more stuff like that, hit that like button and leave a comment saying that you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. We do all kinds of theme park content, Universal, Walt Disney World, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, all that stuff. So if you enjoy that, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, the road goes ever on. We'll see you next time.